I hope you have seen the videos we made about the Airfly controller. It's a super exciting mid-size controller that is created for vMix and ATEM systems. In this case, I have its big brother on the desk next to me. It is Airfly Pro. And Airfly Pro has the same basic architecture. It uh, is configured to do more or less the same things out of the box. But it does have some really neat features I want to show you. So let's get to it and uh, look at the Airfly Pro. Obviously, in a comparison, you'll see that it has far many more displays. So now all these buttons that were previously hard labeled with numbers are now labeled by displays. So whenever you recode the functionality, the displays will tell you exactly what the buttons do. That's really useful. And uh, from the Airfly, you know that this row of buttons will change the function of the bus rows. For instance, if I press the aux menu, then these are now auxiliary sources. And that is actually shown in the display. So you can see auxiliary 2, cam 3. And if you hold down the shift key, you see that these labels reflect what is the source name that is now available on these keys uh, when, when you press them. So for obvious reasons, the displays are super cool. You also find that we have an LED uh, a multi-level LED bar under each of these. And as it is right now, these are mapped to be confidence monitoring of audio levels on these input sources. You can see it in the ATEM software control where you have uh, VU metering here. So if I turn down these, you see that there are a few VU meters that are actually uh, stopping uh, lighting up. And obviously if I peak uh, any of these, it's very useful to know that it's peaking so I can get it turned down. So we also do have a T-bar over here. So when I um, pull the T-bar, uh, we have a transition uh, bar here for coolness. I can also use the auto key to, uh, to do the same thing. Um, I have a cut key, I have fade to black, I have user keys with displays. So the user keys are more versatile now that you can have a display showing what the user key does. Then we have up here a section of um, a joystick section with a joystick pad. So this is actually left, right, up, down, uh, and even uh, angular directions f uh, that you can link up with PTC, uh, con uh, PTC cameras. You have a zoom rocker here, and they are pressure sensitive. So even though they are based on elastomer material, they can still operate your camera with a variable speed. And these knobs, although they are not set up right now, they will adjust parameters on your uh, PTC camera. Okay, up here we have a section that is just like on the Airfly. You have already seen that you can, uh, if you go to the auxiliary section, you have access to the various auxiliary sources. They are four-way buttons, so it, when you press them on the side, they can adjust values up and down. And by the way, this is the case for all of these buttons. So they are all four-way buttons, which makes sense when they are hooked up with the display. So if you associate them with a parameter that um, can be adjusted like that, then uh, pressing the edges of the button will do that uh, when they are not it doesn't make sense. Right now it's just a button, so no matter which edge you press it on, it will just select the source. But up here it is set up to actually cycle a source. As you can see, I'm now cycling auxiliary 2. Okay, so all this coolness is what you get in the Airfly Pro. It is not really landed at its final configuration, but I wanted to show it to you so you know what is coming up uh, as an upgrade to the Airfly. Uh, with displays, more flexibility, T-bar, um, uh, more LED bars for confidence monitoring, and so on. Mm -hmm.